It's like nobody practiced. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Are you kidding me? No, no. Yellow flag, watch out. Nice one, Space Kid. Good start. Now I'm spinning. Now I'm spinning. Couldn't do anything. Oh god. We've got a full course. They put my wheel on wrong. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, I've lost in power spin. <laughs> That red felt longer than usual, I don't know why. That red felt so long. I almost, uh, I almost jumped the start, it was so long. I was like on the limit, I was like, oh my god, how is it not turning? Alright, we got Joe in front of us. I'd recognize that map black anywhere. We got somebody jumping in front of us, that's fun. Somebody on our inside. I heard them clip the grass. I got scared there. I thought I thought I was gonna die because I heard them clip the grass. <laughs> I heard it. Oh my god. Okay, Alright, we got Justin on the outside, gotta watch for that. Slide in behind. And we're in the back, but that's okay. Fuck you, Baltimore! Oh, thank you, Taxed, for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, someone's already off? Oh, brutal. Brutal. Already. Man, what a start. Was it Barry? No, it, yeah, it was Barry. Oh my god. Not again. He did that last week too. Oh, that's such a shame. Yeah, Barry went off like early on in the race last week at Mid-Ohio too. That's so rough. Yeah, the tires do be cold. I, I'm surprised though, because I find cold tires on this track don't make much of a difference. The track is big enough and the turns are really chill enough that... The cold tires don't really make that big of an impact. Obviously, it's noticeable, but a lot less than tracks like, you know, mid-Ohio, <laughs> where cold tires make a huge difference in a lot of ways. Um, I find this track a lot easier to drive on an outlap, personally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. What a start! Oh, the incident review is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, we're in we're in P8 now, I guess. I guess. Not really sure what's going on, if I'm honest. What a brutal start! This feels like an official race. <laughs> Holy hell! Free real estate, baby. We love to see it. Alright, I don't think I should go down the inside here. I want to really badly, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick behind them. It's probably better to not fight right now. Oh my god, they almost fucking took each other out. There was almost more danger. There was almost more death. I mean, there was more danger. There's always more danger. But there was almost more death to go along with it. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to be taken out. Okay, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Oh, he let me by. Oh my god. Come on, Mel. Good car left. Holy shit. Holy shit, Jake. This is gonna be interesting to watch the broadcast later. <laughs> Christ. I think he's got my inside. I need to go out. Right side. He's got my inside. I don't want to. I don't want to fight him. Car right. Clear right. Car right. My goal there. is to not have any big incidents right today. Right. By which I mean contact. If I can go the entire Still race there. without contact, I would be very clear happy. Right. Am I actually clear? Oh my god. Nice move, mate. Phenomenal. Probably a good move by Rich to let me by here going into the chicane. The chicane. I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, look at them buzzing behind me. It's terrifying. It really is. On your left. Ooh, that right. was a dive bomb. Right. Holy shit, that was a dive bomb. Right. Oh, that's going to be On your right. That's going to be one hell of a review. <laughs> that was bad. You can't do that. That's so bad. On your right, clear right. I'm amazed I'm alive. That's like rule number 1 of racing is do not fucking do what they just did. They just completely dove the inside of that turn right into my line. 
That's insane. Holy hell. Where is everybody's brain today? I'm actually shocked. It's like nobody practiced. What is happening? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Are you kidding me? Is there a card on my left? I, I've actually become confused with how much I'm dealing with right now. My brain is empty. Okay, no one's beside me. Did I suddenly go down to rookies? I know, right? This is this is SF2. I'm literally out here talking about how cold tires don't make that much of a difference on this track, and everybody is wrecking around me. It's like, it's literally like I'm fucking Roadrunner right now, and there's like fucking Acme missiles, like missing me by a hair left and right. <laughs> what is happening? Well, I'm in P6, and I'm happy about that. We'll see if we can make it last. We are opening up the gap behind quite nicely, and as they fight behind me, they're only going to help me out more. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can hold on to this. I have no reason at all to pit right now. I'm very comfortable with my position, so I'm going to hold off until either something makes me uncomfortable about my position or I need fuel, one or the other. Uh, right now I'm doing great. We got Joe behind us. I trust Joe. Joe's good. Joe's a good driver. Um, Joe and I have each wrecked each other once. <laughs> so, like, we're, we've, we've hit net zero, and now I trust him. <laughs> you know? We got a great position here, though. We're in P5, I think? P4 or P5? I don't know if it's updating right on time. I think we're in P5, but... Uh, I'm quite happy. I'm behind Joe, and I don't mind that at all this early in the race. Especially pre-everything. We've got tons of stops left, by which I mean two. Uh, and I still don't want to pit because um, I'm enjoying the draft. Now, if he gets away from me here, I'm out of the draft, and that would suck. And then I might consider pitting, but... I'm still in a good position, even if I'm not in the draft here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just out of it. It's a shame. I might be able to catch up if I do a good T1 here. There is smoke ahead. I don't know if that's a wreck or if just somebody's breaking hard. Probably breaking hard. Usually the smoke is misleading on this track. It's a good position to be in. I might pit this lap. I don't know. It makes me nervous when other people pit and I haven't pitted yet, so I'm thinking I'm going to pit this lap. I'm going to pit this lap. I'm going to just do it. It'll it'll also put Joe out in the open, which is which is good. Cause it'll allow me to hopefully catch up on him eventually. Don't get a penalty. Alright, we're good. Let's get a fast stop. Uh, Justin fucked up his pit stop, which is great news for me. It means I'll get ahead of him here. Perfect. Hopefully I can get ahead of... Oh yeah, Scott Allen and... Oh my god, Scott Allen and Alex Othon. Two phenomenally fast drivers in SF2 are completely out of the race at this point, it looks like. That's... Wow, that's brutal. All right, well, that puts us back to P8. We'll see what happens when other folks pit in. Um, but yeah, holy shit, what a fucking start to the race. So this unfortunately does put us 14 seconds behind Jake. And I know with his pace, there is a no chance we're catching up. I'm glad that I've been putting in so much practice on, on this track because it saved me from a lot of hell in the first lap. Um, the first two laps even. So, yeah. I, I cannot wait to watch back the incidents on this. Holy shit. Chaos is a ladder. Yeah. And we're climbing it, baby! Alright, so we're about to pass some folks in the pits here, it looks like. Boom boom, P6. And then, oh, look at this! Barry and Joe just coming out of the pits at the same time as me. Uh, we're gonna end up in the draft of Barry here, which makes it kind of convenient for me. Uh, it'd be nice to be in front of them, but this is not a bad thing at all. Especially considering we have lots of race left to go. Fuck that off track. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're in a pretty good position right now. 
I'm, th I'm thinking Barry and I can probably work together to catch up on Joe, but I just have to make sure I keep pace with Barry, and that can be tricky. So we'll see what happens here. I lose so much speed there, so I need to be careful. I can lose the draft on that turn really easily if I'm not careful, because I lose a lot of speed on that turn, because it's one of my weakest, is the, the full arena. We are still in the draft, though. I'm going to watch Joe's uh, gap. That sounds gross. <laughs> I'm going to watch the gap to Joe and see <laughs> see if we can make... God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, a little bit of speed loss there. Oh, that's rough. We're, that's rough. We're just barely in the draft, I think. If you don't have a heart attack every time you take the last turn of this track, thinking that you'll collide with the pit entry, then you're not doing it right. Um, I just want to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely at a draft distance now. Not surprising, Barry's a fast driver, and I'm not quite keeping up with him, unfortunately, but we're doing our best. I'm still happy with where I am, so there's nothing too mad. Nothing to be too mad about at the moment. P6 is really, really great right now. Hopefully we can keep it. Seems likely with the gap behind right now. We're in a really good place and we don't have anyone to fight against at the moment. Yeah, that turn continues to lose me speed. I, I've practiced so much this week and I could not get it right. Tons and tons of practice, looking up guides. Nothing could, could find it for me, unfortunately. That wasn't a terrible one, but I still lost a lot of speed on it. Wasn't terrible for my standards. Barry, however, is smoking me. Like a cheap cigar right now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was a little bit scary, not gonna lie. A little bit scary, a little bit dubious in there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm safe to I'm safe to pit. Like, the window's open. I'm gonna pit this lap. Because I just don't think this is a good position for me to be in. It's either now, or it's in, like, t one lap from now, or two laps from now, actually. Um, what am I doing? My brain just shut off. Oh, that was bad. I shifted down because my brain shut off. He's going in with me. He's already going in with me. If he's going in, I definitely have to go in. Because there's nothing to be gained from, from staying out. He's the only benefit of staying out. Okay, Mom. Make sure I have my tires off. We think we'll need to stop again. We better not have to stop again. Holy shit. We fucking better not have to stop again. I can't stop again. That would be brutal. The window's open. I don't know why we would have to stop again. I just think that's incorrect. Yeah. No, Kerchief is 100% wrong. Unless I really fuck this up. Because I'm looking at my fuel calculator right now and it says I'm good. Flip the column for good luck. That's a little bit scary. We'll see what happens. We are in a draft here. We've got Daniel in front of us, and we've got Nate in front of him. So if we can hold on to it, we're in a good place. But again, no promises. I am not the fastest driver on this track. In fact, I am quite far from it. So like, I'm already getting a little more distance here than I would like to be getting from Daniel in front. Yep, this is already way too much distance. I'm unhappy with this. Ideally, I need to be, like, less than half a second away before we get into these turns in order to feel any sort of confidence coming out of them. Because if I make a mistake like that, boom. I'm not in draft distance anymore. Oh, that's so rough. Nine seconds. <sighs> Alright, two seconds out and they're drafting off each other, though. It's it's not looking great for me. If they start fighting with each other, we can do something, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Daniel is leading the race. No, he's not. What? Oh, Chris <laughs> Christopher Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. I was like, Daniel's in seventh. What are you... <laughs> What are you talking about, Jim? Now I understand.
You gotta really eat those curbs on this track for speed. For speed. There we go. Mild heart attack. Just a little one. Just a little baby one so I can feel something again. That chicane is pure pain. Yeah, it's... It's, it's, you know, it's definitely something. Yeah, Jim scared me, but we have enough fuel for the end of the race. My fuel calc has settled, and it, it says that I'm good. Also, cat, there's a kitty. Come here, you're just off camera. Oh my god, Rich. Rich coming out immediately. I thought I might get a pass there, but no shot. This might be a bridge to the, the cars ahead, though, if I'm lucky. Depends on what Rich's pace is like. The gap behind is now six point one. Might be too fast for me. Not with moves like that, though. All right. Definitely a little bit further ahead than I want him to be, but not as bad as before. Not quite, anyway. A couple tenths better. Really, Tony hawked the curb there. Three of which, two of which were practice, one of which was quality, one of which was a race. Three, I want to say, I don't know, 40 second laps? Like, it's actually absurd. And I got a lot out of it, and I feel like, you know, given that a, like a big percentage of that money was from, oh my god! It just occurred to me what happened. Nate was out of fuel. I blocked that out. It just occurred to me that what happened. Nate was out of fuel, I think. I can't see why you would have stopped otherwise. P7, baby! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. What a fucking insane... There we go. <laughs> what Thank you, Melody. I now have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Just making sure you've got good health insurance. I got you. <laughs> hey, good win there, Christopher Daniel. Nice oh, one. God. Oh, yeah. look at the car. Don't look at the wheel hey, go. <laughs> great, nice there, great race. What a crazy fucking race. What an insane race. Let's <laughs> let's dive Gentlemen. in together. This is the fun part, okay? So we got P7 out of 14. Literally top 50%. Let's just hit play and see what happens. Like, what the fuck happened this race? And I encourage you all to go to the YouTube channel later. Oh man, oh man. And I fortunately, I had tons of room to break. No shot of me getting any damage on my paint there, which is nice because it's a pretty paint job. I think I did pretty well on this one. Hit me up, send me a DM if you want, if you want a livery. I, I'm a graphic designer. It's, it's, my, it's, my, it's a living. Give me the, give me the meat of it. Who was at fault? Tell me the drama. Oh boy. Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. No into the back of Nate? Pushes him off. Oh no, it gets worse! It gets worse! No! Daniel goes into the back of Nate. That's bad enough already. But then Nate... Oh no! And just rolls back onto the track for the... for the fucking... Call of Duty buzz kill, revenge kill on Daniel. You take me out. Bing, fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. And that's me right there. That's me. That's me. So let's. I want to watch this one again at full speed. This is me over here. I'm I'm on the far right. And I just want you to watch what Craig does here. Full speed, before we get into it. Oh, you just... Oh, the way that I survived that is just insane. 
Are you kidding me with this? Like, it made contact and I got a- I got an incident point for it, I believe. I got 4x for it. But it did zero damage to my car. You do not do this! What is this? What is this? There's gotta be damage. That's the only excuse for this. That's insane! You don't do that, that's a full-on dive bomb. I'm over here, right? And I'm thinking about Jake, or Justin rather. I'm not thinking about Greg. So I'm like, okay, Justin's chilling out. He's letting me turn in. So I turn in and suddenly Craig is in front of me. What the fuck?